Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to UV Ninja Plays. Hope you enjoyed the last video. Hope you're gonna enjoy this one. So today I thought I would just give you tips on B Swarm. On how to defeat King Beetle and his loot. And just a little bit of info about it. So let's get to it. Okay, hey, just to let you know, a bunch of our videos are mostly gonna be about B Swarm simulator. Yeah, I, this is the main game for us. So, um, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work to the hive since last time. I don't know if I had this last time, but I completed the legendary collection. I got all my legendaries. Let's just fly around. I got all legendaries in the game. And from last time, I put my stubborn bee up here. And I got a basic bee. Now, the reason for this is... Um, me? It's not like I'm royal jellying it or something. Like the basic bees are what you're gonna need in order to complete getting every single bee in the game. So I thought I would just get one now because I could get. It. Um. So yeah, today we're just gonna be focusing on King Beetle. Uh. Now, in case you didn't know, King Beetle is the king of these rhino beetles. Like, there's nothing in the game for commands and stuff yet. Maybe Honor will add that into the game. Maybe, just maybe. But as of now, it's not in the game. And yeah, for those of you who didn't know, this is King Beetle's lair. So, the lair is kind of... It's like hidden behind the blue flower. Now, honestly, at first glance, I didn't know what it was. And when I first came to the field when I was a noob, I didn't even see it because the blue flower, like... You can't even see it behind it. You'd have to go super far in. And if you're a noob, you wouldn't be coming to the blue HQ. Even when you come out, you see like the gate and you don't see it fully. You just see a glimpse of it on the side of your screen. So yeah, this is King Beetle's lair. Now, just a quick hint. If you are a noob or something, King Beetle has 2,500 2, health. health. So you don't suggest attacking him. And it's best if you have a vicious bee while doing it, because vicious bees do an insane amount of damage with their impale ability. It looks like a spike, and it only summons when you fight monsters. Okay, so King Beetle's in the lair right now. Now a hint, just so that you don't get hit, let's say you have the glider or the parachute. <gasps> Gifted right. Bobby! Okay. Another one! Okay, sure. Oh, you don't know, um, I've already got one. Yeah, so I've got two Gifted ones. He's kind of showing off a bit. Uh, so yeah, you saw that spike ability, that's the impale. Mm -hmm. Now you want to be, if you have the parachute or glider, you want to be jumping around and gliding. Because that way King Beetle does absolutely no damage to you. You can see I've already done most of my King Beetle. That's because the impale ability is really good, guys. King Beetle is level 7. 7, so you're going to need at least level 6 piece. Oh, okay. I got a new King Beetle amulet. That is good. So, King Beetle amulets, they have, I'm pretty sure King Beetle amulets have a 1 in 7 chance of dropping, and they, they usually give, I think, 3 buffs, 3 buffs, yeah. So, my old one is this, I'm just trying to decide, because this one has more convert rate, but I like mushroom fuel. A little less than blue flower and clover because you get more fields of blue flower and clover than mushroom and strawberry. Strawberry is such an unused field in the game, I just noticed. So, yeah, King Beetle Amulet, you gotta keep. I already have one and I'm. I think I'm gonna keep my old one. But they give three buffs two field buffs and a convert rate. Also, if you're wondering how I know this, you need to. Check out the Bee Swarm Wiki. Yes, there is a Bee Swarm Wiki. Please check it out. It's, I think, brand. I think it's fandom branded. I'm not sure. Um, but. I'll put it down to link below. No, we won't. But, um. Well, we might. Maybe. Okay. But anyway, I hope that that taught you just a little bit about King Beetle. Please go search him on Bee Swarm Wiki. Or just check out the Bee Swarm Wiki in general. Because a lot of mine. Swarm knowledge comes from that wiki. I literally wouldn't have known about the honey mask if I didn't um, go to that wiki. 
Like, I didn't know that it gave you a passive ability as good as this, so yeah. Um, oh, so later on in the video, I might just show you what the passive ability is. Uh, maybe next video, I'll show you what the passive ability is for my honey moth. It's called Coin Scatter. Now, basically, it converts a third of your honey into pollen, number one. I, it converts a third of your um, pollen into honey, so you can stay on the field for longer. And for me, that's really useful because it's ivy collecting in the millions. It's really beneficial to me. And then another part of coin scatter, it takes 300% of the player's total, no, 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 of what, like, you know the bit it converted of your honey. It takes 300 times that, so base not 300 times that, 300%, so basically three times that, and it scatters it around the field, and you can collect that. As well as having your actual honey converted, so it's a really good buff. You can also search that on the wiki. Oh, a sprout has appeared. Yeah, yeah a sprout has appeared. So check which field it's on. It's on dandelion. Oh, oh, okay. So anyway, guys, I hope you learned a lot from this video. Please comment below what you want for the next video, and I will see you in the next one. Good. Bye.